Saucer Guy here for Sean and Kevin, world travelers who occasionally go to places you haven't been. In this episode, the boys are in a faraway land. So settle in and welcome to Travel by Numbers. one say about Cuba? A country frozen in time, dilapidated, beautiful, repressed but slowly opening up to modern ways, and full of some of the most friendly and talented people we'd ever met in our travels. Located in the Northern Caribbean, where the Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico, and Atlantic Ocean meet, the Republic of Cuba, with its 11 million citizens, has been inhabited since the 4th millennium BC. Cuba has a subtropical climate. The average temperature is 21 Celsius in January and 27 in July. There is a drier season from November to April and a rainier season from May through October. Famously ruled by the Castro since the revolution in 1959, it is a socialist state whose economy is dominated by the tourism industry and the exports of skilled labor, sugar, tobacco, and coffee. Though this was our first trip to this, the largest Caribbean island, we would eventually go three more times as we wanted to experience most areas of this country. If you like classic cars, we can't think of anywhere else in the world you'll see as many vehicles from the 40s and 50s. The cars truly became part of a Cuban family and are lovingly restored and repaired using mechanical parts and pieces that were never intended for them. It's not uncommon to find a beautiful 1950s Chevy with a Russian engine. Cuban mechanics are truly the wizards and MacGyvers of the automotive world. Veradero is a two hour drive east of central Havana. The peninsula is only 1.2 kilometers wide at its widest point and separated from the island of Cuba by the Kawama Channel. This spit of land extends more than 20 kilometers from the mainland in the northeasterly direction and its tip is the northernmost point of the island of Cuba. The Juan Alberto Gomez Airport is only 16 kilometers west and serves this region with domestic and international flights. The beach is the backyard of all hotels in Veradero, whose 20 kilometers of turquoise water and sandy beach allow tourists to take long walks along the ocean. There's also a hop-on, hop-off bus that travels in a loop throughout the resort region to the town of Veradero. 
It's only a couple of dollars for a daily ticket, but make sure that you keep the ticket so that you can reuse the bus service throughout the day. We will explore more of this region in an upcoming episode. Coming up in the next episode from Travel by Numbers, we visit the capital of Cuba, Havana. We took a day trip to this historic city and want to return for a full week as there's just so much to see. If you enjoyed today's episode, please click the like button. And by subscribing and turning notifications on, you'll help us create new content. Thanks for watching. And remember, experiences, not things.